Hello, hello, hello. Hello. This is our um, official name video for baby number three. And I'm going to have Cameron answer this question because this was probably the most asked question when I was talking about making this video. Are we continuing with the K names? No. <laughs> no. I mean, that wasn't like our goal to have like several K names. We just happened to really love the names Kaya and Kieran. And those ended up being our children's names. Mm -hmm. But it's not going to be like a, a pattern or anything. Like, I don't think we're going to have any Ks from here on out. <laughs> Many. So we have, count them, 20 names. <laughs> 20 <laughs> names that we're going to read to you. So we want to get through this quickly because that's a long video if we sit there and prattle on. So we're going to go alphabetical order, which includes boy, girl. So boys are going to be first. Oh, and I forgot to say, um, we have historically chosen <laughs> some very um, like Scandinavian um, Irish, Scottish names before in the past, and we've actually been really kind of into the nature-inspired names this time around, so there's going to be a lot of them in here, and some of our more, um, like, our cultural background or our, our heritage is kind of not so much in there anymore. The first boy's name is Alder. Again, that's kind of like a more of a woodland naturey name because it's um, after the alder tree. Second is Anderson. We like this one. It's more of a Scandinavian persuasion, I suppose. Um, it it is more of like a surname, but we thought it sounded really cool with Cameron's last name, Anderson Mowies. Mm -hmm. Just thought that sounded really cool. The next one, third one, is Ash. Ash. Next one. I love this one. Is forest. Forest. I don't know. Like, we just, we're nature people. I'm from the Pacific Northwest. We both love, like, the camping and, and going and hiking in the trees and nature and stuff. Sometimes you just really have to unplug and go just reset in nature. And forest, forests are those places that we like to go. And mm -hmm. it's just the name that we really love. I'm, I'm taking too long talking about each name, so let's, let's go through them a little bit so, quicker. So the next one is Phoenix. Phoenix. The next one is Rainer. I really like this one. Kind of sounds like a ranger. I thought like Rainier sounded cool, but then you were talking about um, how much you liked it as Rainer. Yeah. So, oh boy. I might like this one more than Forest. The next one is River. I love it so much. <laughs> I know that's it's a pretty common name from like the 90s, I think. The next one is Sky. And then nature again, that whole kind of a theme this time around. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's only two. <laughs> two left. That are Scandinavian-ish. So this one, I really like. Uh, Surin. Sorin. Sorin. That's how much I like it. I can't pronounce it. <laughs> Next one is Wilder. Wilder. I wasn't 100% sold on Wilder until I just thought about it. Like, Kieran's pretty wild. And then I thought, you know, he's actually a pretty tame child compared to <laughs> what I've heard. Um, and if I think he's wild, if there's anyone that's a little bit more wild than him, then they'd be Wilder. Mm -hmm. All right, time for the girly names. I'm going to read it since I'm a girl. So the first name on the girls list is Aster. So Aster is actually like the, I think it's called a genus, a genus of a type of flowers, like a type of family of flowers, like daisies and stuff like that. Next one on the list is Helena. I really like that one. I, I think of Helena Christensen. I can't remember which Scandinavian country she's from, but, um, I just always thought she was really beautiful and I loved her name, so that's one of the names that I put on the list. Next one is Iris. Another floral name. I don't remember if we had this one on our list before. I want to say we had it tentatively on our list, but I don't know if we had it on the last video. It's Meadow. I really love that name. When we went to Sequoia, which was the year that he proposed to me, there was this big beautiful meadow before we reached the uh, chimney tree that he ended up proposing to me in 
And I just remember like going through that beautiful meadow and then like going into the trees and then he proposed to me. So I really just like the name Meadow and I think that it would be a really pretty little girl's name. Okay, this next one, people actually almost ruined for me. <laughs> I've It's apparently a character on a popular TV show, Schitt's Creek. I love the name. It's very old-fashioned. Um, I think it's more of the English persuasion. It's Moira. And I guess there's a, a really hilarious character on Schitt's Creek. We've never seen it. I don't know. So, um... But when I was talking to my sister-in-law and my friend about it, they were like, oh my god, Shit's Creek! And I was like, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm sure some people are probably going to talk about it in the comments too. But I'm not ruling that name out just because it's a character on a TV show. I think, you know, in you know 20 years, nobody's going to say, oh, Shit's Creek to my, my kid, you know? <laughs> Next one is more Irish, Gaelic. It is Orla. I don't know, I just really love, if you kind of notice, a lot of the names end in uh, like mm -hmm. the girl names end in uh, I just think they it sounds really pretty, especially yeah. with that, that vowel and then going into your M last mm -hmm. name, it just sounds really nice. We already talked about this one, and I think this has been on our list for a long time. Yeah. Sequoia. It's just really, again, it's nature-y, it's, it's where we went and he proposed to me. Um, it's it's just beautiful sounding, yeah. and I think it sounds really cool with your last name. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, Sequoia. The next one, also ending in an uh sound, is Thora. It's, um, yeah, Scandinavian, and it means... Goddess of Thunder. Yes. <laughs> I mean, didn't you say for a boy you wanted Thor, and I vetoed that? But I was like, I guess, you know, Thora. Yeah. I mean, it sounds a little better than Thor's hammer. <laughs> So yeah, Thora. Yeah. So the next one, I didn't really know existed. Um, one of my friends had a name. I think it's German. It's Hilda. And I really loved that name, but obviously I didn't want to take her daughter's name. So I, I found the name Tilda. Last one on the girls list is very, very popular right now. So I don't know how keen I would be on using it, but maybe, you know, as a middle name or something. Um, I really love the name Willow. Weeping Willows are and have always been my favorite tree growing up. I loved, we had this huge weeping willow next to our house that had a tire swing, and I just loved hanging out in there and just have all the little, like, branches coming mm -hmm. down. Yeah, it's just a really pretty name, even if it is, like, super popular right now. So, if that's all 20 names. Yeah. I hope we didn't go for like 50 minutes oh, no, <laughs> just rattling so. on. If you have any name suggestions, mm -hmm. let us know in the comments below. Yeah, let us know what you think. Yeah. All right. Talk to you later. Hada!